So it's finally here. Patch 12.12 .12 has finally arrived and with it brought one of my most anticipated Escape from Tarkov features and that is VoIP or proximity chat, voice over IP, the ability to talk to other players in game. This is something that has been relatively controversial, something that we've known is coming for a long time and we finally have our first iteration of it. So I've been asked a ton of times, like how do you turn it on or how does it work? So in this video, we're going to do like a breakdown, a day one breakdown, all the information I could find. I did a bunch of testing and kind of break down how VoIP works in Escape from Tarkov. Uh, I'm most likely live right now or will be live soon. I'm going to be playing a lot this week. You can check me out on Twitch. All my links will be down below. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into the video. All right, so what we'll do is I'll kind of give you the TLDR of how to turn it on and what I found in a lot of the testing and stuff like that. And then what I'll do is kind of show in raid footage of me doing a lot of these testings, figuring out how far away you can hear and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so just at its very basic, you have to turn VoIP on. This is the thing I think a lot of people are getting tripped up on. VoIP is defaulted to off because they didn't want to really like force it on people. Uh, so you have to turn it on. So you go to your settings, you go to sound and you check uh, enable VoIP. Uh, make sure your um, microphone is selected. A lot of people are having trouble. Make sure whatever microphone you use is routed properly. I will say that they're very sensitive. So like I turned my microphone volume down to like 50%. Uh, it's very sensitive. It can be very loud, especially when you're close to somebody. The chat volume here, we actually did some testing, doesn't mean anything. So you actually don't need to do this at all because it means nothing. Uh, they might change that and this might change how loud other people are regardless of their microphone volume because if somebody doesn't turn their volume down and it's really obnoxious, maybe eventually you'll be able to come in here, but it currently doesn't do anything. So that's how you turn it on uh, in the settings. Then once you have it turned on, uh, you can select basically it, it auto defaults to K. So you go to the controls and push to talk for it is K. And then I made control K the quick mute to enable or disable VoIP. So uh, the push to talk is you can change to whatever you want. I have a foot pedal dedicated so I can kind of do it anytime I want. And then you set up whatever you do. So being able to quick enable and disable it with a hotkey in RAID is awesome. And I feel like that's a super important thing. And then it's push to talk. So you can change these in here and you're good to go. So once you're in RAID, you just press K, you start talking. Uh, if you double tap Y, it also gives you the opportunity to uh, enable VoIP or disable it from there, or you can report a player. So you can report somebody, you won't be reporting anybody that is on your team, so you don't ever have to worry about that. And when you click report, it just reports whoever talked in the last two seconds. I, that's really all we know. I don't know how much it, how it works if there is a bunch of people talking at the same time. Uh, we don't really know too much about the report feature, but we know that Nikita said the people that abuse it by playing music or being overly toxic or spamming or doing anything like that can eventually, with enough reports, get a VoIP temporarily or permanently banned from their account or even get their account banned if it's egregious enough. That's really all we know. We don't know the details of that, but just know that that is an option. Um, I will say once again, the TLDR of my experience is everybody has been super chill and it's actually been super fun. I have not had one single bad experience, but your mileage may vary. So what we did is what I'm about to show is we did a bunch of like a series of tests that kind of show all of the different features of VoIP, how the headsets affect it, how the distances affect it. But the TLDR of that, if you just want the quick information is with a headset on, you can hear uh, clearly out to about 30, 25 to 30 meters. And uh, you can understand that somebody is talking, even if you can't understand them out to about 40 meters, which was pretty crazy without a headset past the 15 to 20 meter mark, you stop being able to understand what they're saying. Um, so the headsets affect it. The chat volume slider does not affect it at all. Once you're moving around, the sounds get occluded in buildings and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. So that's the TLDR. VoIP is awesome. You have to turn it on. I recommend you turn it on. And here I'll kind of show some of the testing we did in RAID so that you can actually see like the practical application of this stuff in Escape from Tarkov. So I'm just showing that this is me talking on VoIP. I'm just showing the timer. It goes, uh, you have 15 seconds. If you continuously hold, you can let go for a second. And if you immediately press back down, the timer continues. If you go all the way down to zero, you're basically locked out. You see that X timer. You need to wait five seconds and then the timer will reset. Boom. Now I can go for 15 seconds again. If I let go for a few seconds and then hit it again, uh, boom. Oh, it actually saved it there. So I think I have to let go for the full five seconds. Uh, so even if you don't use all the time where you let go for the full five seconds and then we're back to 15. So it's a five minute cooldown. You got to go 
you gotta wait five seconds and you get 15 seconds but 15 seconds is a long time and i haven't really run into it the only time is really when i'm holding it down almost like it's my push to talk and i just hold it down for forever so that is the timer okay so say something for the people something for the people all right so it's nice and loud say something again something again so nice and loud let's see let's see how far away we can get you cut out. i've got this got this trusty tool can you still hear me hello all right can you hear me now oh that's actually a good that's actually hello. a good point all right so that's 12 meters away We're solid 20 meters. Hello. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, I can still hear you. Twenty-five meters. Can you hear me? I can still hear you. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Thirty-two meters. Can you hear me? It's super quiet, but I can hear you. Say something again. Papa. Can you hear me, Papa? <laughs> yes. Papa. All right, 39 meters. Can you hear me? I can still hear him. You can still hear me? I can hear you. Very muffled. I wonder if 40 is the line. Let's go 40. Can you hear me now? Check one, two. Can you hear me now? I can still hear him. Say, say something again. I can't, can I can't, from there? I can't hear what you're saying, but I can very faintly hear that you're talking and only because i'm listening for it hold on i'm yeah. gonna back up a little bit more i'm gonna back up to 45 44 all right say something now you know what's crazy i can hear you i can't understand what you're saying and i and i would never know it unless i was listening for it but i can hear you at 45 meters Say something again. Nice. Chat might not be able to hear it. All right. Uh, we'll go 50 and go one more time. Okay. I can't hear you. I'm going to go back to 45. Do it. Do like an F1 taunt for me. That's like broken loud. You can't have any rounds left now, bitch. Now say something on VoIP. All right, reset your timer. Reset your timer. And then uh, I'm going to tell you to talk and just keep talking. And I'm just going to like walk towards you and hear the, the thing. So and go. And that's when I was like, pick up all your floor base. I mean, we're not living in South Asia. I'm just, uh, dude, you're getting a little close, bro. You need. Perfect. All right. So weirdly, bro. So we were at 40 meters. I could barely hear you. And when you taunted, it sounded like you were right next to me. The USEC taunt. They're like much louder than the void. But dude, we got to, we got to. 45 meters and I could still hear you only because I was listening and I couldn't make out anything you were saying but it's it's basically I thought at like the 20 or 25 meter mark it would just be a hard cut off but it's a really yeah. slow sliding scale and you can make it out to you know uh 30 to 35 and still 
still hear someone. Okay, so now we're going to try the same thing without the headset. Do uh, do kind of a control and just like talk on void for me. Talk on void for me. What's up, dude? Yeah, Hello. so much less loud. Okay, let's back it up. He's to about up. Where are you going? You nice 15 camera. meters. Say something. You got a nice little camcorder over there. Yeah, much quieter. Back it up to 24. Five. Say something. It's kind of rude to walk away from me. I need friends. I can eat friends. Take a step to the left or your right. Yeah. You can be friends, but you keep walking away from me. Say something I can say. Say something. Say something. Okay. Say something. Okay. All right. That's good. So, so without the headset on, which I'm sure each headset adjusts a little bit, but broad strokes without the headset on, it was basically 20 meters was the effective distance of me understanding what you were saying. And 30 meters was the distance on like this, the, the, the 40 meter one before where like I could, like, I could, I knew you were saying noise. something, like, but I couldn't understand what you were saying. Inaudible noise. Very that interesting. Dead, Very interesting. This is going to be super toxic, but just go ahead and talk, keep talking. And I'm just going to, you stay right here and I'll move up and down as you talk. You, you have 15 seconds to get your butt upstairs, mister. I swear to God, you'll be grounded if you don't get up to the stairs before this 15 seconds is up. Are you upstairs there, pal? Are you upstairs? I'm there? up you there. Three seconds, two, one, up. Okay. So that was actually pretty cool. Cause I could totally still hear you whenever your thing resets, do it again and I'll run around. murdered somebody <laughs> okay keep talking yeah the, that's a dead guy i'm uh, sorry keep talking healing is that I a pmc i was healing no it was a scab yeah. are you talking i was talking yeah do it again I have five seconds before my timer runs out. Okay, really interesting. Um, one last test. Whenever your timer resets, stand like right here under the light. And I'll hit you with the three, two, one. All right, okay. three, two, one, go. Okay, I am currently talking. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to just keep on rambling. I'm hoping. Flash Jesse Sedan. Don't call. You might enjoy okay. the content. Last thing, go all the way to marked. Stand outside of marked. And when I give you the go ahead, talk. Okay. All right, go ahead. Okay, so what I was saying was go to twist.tv, flash Jesse Sedan. Okay, so you get about. All right, cool. Thank you. Give me two seconds. All right, okay. so staircases propagate really well. When he was on first, I can hear him on third. Um, and floors, you get about 10 to 15 feet. Anywhere, if you're directly below or above somebody, you can hear them. And then. As you, as I moved away, I got like 15, 20 feet, and then it was like a really hard cutoff. So directly above, directly below is pretty well. Staircases propagate really, really well. Um, so that, that that's really cool. You there's there's a lot of wiggle room in there. I don't think if he was up there, I'd be able to hear him on first. 
but around the staircases you kind of can that's pretty sick all right so this is okay so this is a voip baseline test to see if the chat mic does anything the volume so i'm going to turn it from 70 to 100 percent say something say something i'm giving up on you all right say something uh hey there how you doing okay so literally no change at all so i Okay, so that doesn't change anything at all. So I'm assuming it's just the other person's microphone volume is going to be the only thing that changes because interface, overall, music, hideout, yeah, chat. So maybe they'll change that in the future, but currently the chat volume has nothing. You know what I mean? So that's it. That is VoIP as we have it. I'll obviously update this or put out new guides if they change VoIP, if they change the timers, or if they change any of the kind of information that we have around it. Uh, once again, you kind of, you have the freedom. You can never turn it on if you don't want. You can turn it on and, and not really use it, but just hear other people, uh, or you can participate in it. Uh, you know, as long as you're having fun with it, there's no wrong way to do it. You can betray people. You can be a jerk. That's all part of it. As long as you're not trying to intentionally be toxic. But once again, all my experiences have been really, really good. So that's VoIP. I hope this helped. I hope this kind of encouraged you to hop in and start using it and make some really, really funny memories in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you so much, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Like I said before, I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, our Discord server is an awesome place to be. That link is down below as well. Thank you again for stopping by, and I'll definitely see y'all on the next one.